please. Ah, uh, we're here. We are here. Yeah, look at everybody get quiet again. Murmurs and hepatitis. All right. I promise you, I have a little story for Hep B because I know that's what you hate, right? Go ahead. Dimension Hep B. All right. All right. I understand. It's okay. It's okay. Hep A. It's fecal oral, is it not? And this is the one that we we see the you know the epidemics we all the time in daycares, military camps, just enclosed environments. Again, what's going to be elevated first? Hep A. IGM, do you, are, is the military here? Are you fighting? After the two to three months, what happens to my M's? They turn to G's. I get, can give the immunoglobulin to my, fam, to my close family members. Can I not, right? We usually have to give it within two weeks because that's the incubation period for it. And there's a vaccination for Hep A now, is there not? We give the vaccination for Hep A. For the boards... What would I choose if, if, if I was in a review question like Kaplan or PAEs and they asked me what to do with the family member? I'd say yes. I'd give the immunoglobulin. Guys, by the time you take your research, you lucky, you lucky people get to take it in 10 years. I'm still stuck behind the six-year curtain. But for you guys who take it another 10 years, oh, I think it's going to be the vaccination. This is going to change. Okay? You can just see the tides changing. And I can see 10 years from now, the answer will not be immunoglobulin. It will be vaccination. Ah, uh, there she is. Hep B, everybody's favorite. That's that test question you memorize in school, or man, I don't know, E antigen, core antigen, I don't know. I'm B. I don't know. All right, so come with me. Let's go get Hep B. All right, let's go get it. Now, the most likely ways we get it, we can get it through hetero or homosexual sex or IV drug abuse. When you really look at who drives the bus here, oh, it's your shooters. It's the IV drug abuse. They run the show. Okay? So let's say that you and I become heroin addicts. We're going to shoot IV heroin. So we're going to get Hep B. So we introduce Hep B into our serum. Got it? Who shows up first? The hepatitis B surface antigen. Surface antigen is the subway. S is subway. That's my transport mechanism, the subway. So who's here? The subway. Do you have are you infected with Hep B? Nope, not yet. The transport mechanism guy showed up. Who comes out of the subway? Who comes out of the surface antigen? That's the evil egg. The evil egg comes out, and it just coats itself over your liver. <laughs> Coating over your liver. Yeah, check me out. Yeah, you're going to get sick now. Oh, I'm all over you. Yeah. Right? So the E antigen is secreted out. That means I'm going through viral replication because I'm secreting all over you. So I'm replicating, am I not? So if I'm an egg and I'm cracking over your liver, oh, wow, I'm going through viral replication. I'm pretty infectious now, am I not? And then the last thing it does is it injects into the cells. See, I secreted, now I'm going to inject. So the core goes in the hepatic cell. Do you get it now, guys? Can you measure the core? No, where is it? It's in the cell. It's not in the serum. Does everybody see this? So one more time, repetition works. I shoot IV heroin. Who comes out? I get the subway, the surface antigen. That's my transport mechanism. Who comes out of the subway? The evil egg. What's he going to do? Coat over your liver. He's replicating. You're infectious. What is the egg going to release? The core. But where does the core go? In the hepatic cell. Can you measure that? Nope. You're the body. You're going to lay down and take this? Oh, heck no, I'm going to fight. So you're going to fight in reverse. What are you going to make first, guys? Hepatitis B, core antibodies, IgM. That 
indicates the diagnosis of acute hepatitis B. Did you make IgMs to the core? Could I measure the core? No, because where was it? In the cell. But I can measure the core antibodies. Does that make sense to everybody? And then what's the next thing you're going to make? E antibodies to the egg. And then the last thing you're going to do is you're going to walk up to the subway and you're going to go, okay, I've got to make surface antibodies. Okay. Imagine if you can, I do the IV heroin, subway shows up, egg secretes, throws the core in the cell. I got core antibodies. I got E antibodies. Man, have you seen the size of that subway? Look at the, really? Ah, contractors aren't here. It's close to 5 o'clock. I'm part of the union. I'm going to leave. I don't feel like making antibodies today. Imagine you don't make antibodies to the subway, which means the surface antigen is always positive. Welcome to chronic hepatitis B. In chronic hepatitis B, what happened? They just ran out of steam, guys. They never got to make antibodies to the subway. Does everybody see this? So what's positive in chronic hepatitis B? Hepatitis B, surface antigen. The subway is still there. You never made antibodies. You just ran out of steam. All right, so does everybody see how the questions rear their ugly head? How do I know I'm going through viral replication? I'm infectious because the egg secreting. That's the E antigen. How do I have the diagnosis of hepatitis B? Did I make antibodies to the core? Do I have core antibodies, IgM? Does everybody see that? How do I diagnose chronic hepatitis B? The surface antigen. I never made, I never made antibodies to the subway. Does that make sense to everybody here? Okay, if you kind of keep that story set, you'll do fine, guys. Okay, you'll do fine. Yes, sir. Yes, you're still positive for the core, yes, just yeah. The just the surface, correct. Okay, then the next test question that rears his ugly head. You and I get vaccinated for hep B. You got it? We get vaccinated. Now, you're right. They give us a series of three shots, one, two, and three. Now, if they measured our blood the next day, the next day, we'd be positive for hepatitis B, surface antibodies, IgM, would we not? But they didn't draw our blood the next day, did they? Uh-uh. When did they draw our blood? Two to three months later, what were they looking for? The M's to turn to G's. So me and you and the IV drug abuser from Club Sutra. <laughs> but here's my question to you. Me, you, and that jerk, okay? Because <laughs> he did have railroad marks. That jerk... We're both positive for hepatitis B surface antibodies, are we not? He made, excluding the chronic hepatitis B, but he made surface antibodies, and so did you. See, you and I got an attenuated virus. We got the surface antigen with nothing inside, no egg. So it was attenuated. It was fixed, right? So how am I going to differentiate someone from getting it active versus someone who got it passively? What did he see that you never saw? Core. Does that make sense? So what lab test could I do to differentiate a active versus passive immunity? The answer is core antibodies. Does, does that make sense to everybody? Okay, and that's what we order there, guys. Okay.